Today, guys, we'll be hitting on our 34th question on MBBS Niger. And uh, guess what we are treating today? Today, we'll be talking about the diploid veins. All right, let me try to see what's the question like. Let me see the question that he asked those boys that he almost urinated in the exam hall. Okay, the question is, discuss the anatomy and apply the anatomy of diploic veins, right? So first of all, we'll be going through what is diploic veins, where are they found? And then we'll be ending up with the applied anatomy. Okay. Okay. Now let's move. Oh... Uh, Diploid veins question. Now the picture. You can see that the diploid veins are found on the skull, okay? And they are the veins that drain um, the, the scalp area. Now let's move. You see that first of all, let's define where the diploid veins are found. You see that first of all, the diplo is a spongy bone layer between the external and the internal. Note this. The diplo is a spongy uh bone layer between the external and the internal compact tables of the cranium okay now it is drained by these diploid veins or the diplo veins now we have seen where the diploid veins are they are in the diplo the diplo is the spongy compartment between and the internal and the external compact bones of your skull okay we're proceeding. Now we say that uh, they are communicating veins that connect the hemispheric veins to the intracranial venous sinus. They connect the hemispheric veins to the intracranial uh, venous sinus uh, through the foramina in the cranium. Okay, uh, they are connecting. Uh, they are communicating veins that connect the hemispheric veins to the intracranial venous sinus. So first of all. If they say that you should talk about the, the applied anatomy of diploid veins, you should, you should just know that, okay, they are communicating veins. So definitely, the applied anatomy will be spread of infection, all right, or spread of inflammation or stuff like that. I don't know, I don't know, but let's move. Uh, let's see. Now we say that there are four types of diploid veins found on each side of blood, okay? Now, I'd like you to... Uh, uh, you, you catch this with this memory aid, FAPO. Okay, FAPO. The F is frontal diploid vein. The anterior temporal is the A. The posterior temporal is the P. And the occipital diploid veins. Okay, you have the frontal uh, diploid veins, which have the anterior temporal. We have the posterior temporal. We have the occipital diploid veins okay let's move this is another image showing the diploid veins right you see that diploid veins are classified in the following ways as you see FAPO we have the frontal diploid veins um the A we have the anterior temporal veins um the P we have the posterior temporal veins okay posterior temporal diploid veins and the O we have the occipital diploid veins all right such a beautiful time now we say that they develop fully at about two years after birth okay that's where the diploid veins develop fully we're not saying that uh, in the fetus the fetus don't have it no development to the fullest is about two years after birth okay uh, this is another image showing the diploid veins all right now let's discuss what we say the diploid veins are communicating veins you see the diploid veins they are communicating communicating here they can go down they can even blood from there can even access this side so you see an infection in the diploid vein will spread so fast all right i'm suspecting that they applied anatomy now applied anatomy yeah, I suspected right though. He said that spread of infections in the brain. I've already explained this thing, right? They are communicating veins, they are linking and uh, different different parts. So from here, the blood will transport to this side, transport to that side and that side. Now, rupture of the diploid veins and the meningeal artery can lead to extra dural hematoma. This is due to the vault bone injury. Okay. 
now with that we are done with our 34th question on mbbs niger okay and in this question we spoke about the diploid veins i hope you guys had a nice time during the lecture okay so see you guys in the this should be the 33rd question right this is the 33rd question so i'll see you guys in the 34th bye for now guys